we are going away for one week and we have just one checked in suitcase between three of us yep that's right one checked in suitcase between me and two young kids who need 500 changes of clothes floaties like armbands lilos which take up lots of room entertainment you name it and just one suitcase why might you ask? Well, I'll tell you why, because I refuse to pay a further 70 English pounds to check in one more suitcase. And if we wanted two, so we'd have one each, that would be a further 140 pounds. It's just ridiculous. So we are going for pack smarter. That's the theme, that's the objective, let's go. <laughs> if you can hear the torrential downpour outside but if I waited for it to stop raining in England I'd be waiting like a week so we're just gonna get on with it and ignore the rain sounds but I just wanted to say that I always write an exhaustive list of everything that I need to pack I will spend time literally writing every single thing that I need to pack for the boys and I've done this ever since my first um, child was born and this is because I don't like to miss anything I don't like to forget anything and if I write every single thing I need down once I've packed it in the case I will tick it off or cross it off and then that way I don't forget anything because when I write my list I tend to include everything but if I just packed like from my memory without writing it down I would forget things I don't know if that is the same for anyone else or if writing it down just makes my life a lot easier um, but also things like toothpaste if we're taking the one in here we're not this time actually because i brought a separate one but say we were taking the one which we do sometimes from the cabinet then i obviously wouldn't pack it now and i'd put a big circle around it and a big circle around all the things i'm not packing until last minute for example the phone charger that will go last minute and then in the morning which tends to be super early for our holidays we always have really a really early start as I prefer day flights to night flights with the kids I find it far less disruptive to their routine I will circle all of the things in a bright color that I don't need to pack until the morning and then in the morning instead of trying to think whilst getting the kids ready at like 3 a.m. I will just see charger inhaler uh, toothpaste and literally just throw those things in without having to think and I haven't forgotten anything so I find it really important to do an exhaustive list and I would really recommend it if you two hate forgetting things and want to feel super organized and I will now just tick off as I go I've just done the list for the boys obviously we are sharing a suitcase so I will then put my list down the side as well and try and get it all into this suitcase while I'm giving away some of my travel tips I just want to speak about packing cubes this is not sponsored I am just obsessed and recently started using packing cubes, I'd say in the last three years or so, and I will never go back. And I'll tell you why they are super, super important for this holiday. So I have three sets of packing cubes. So this beige color, which has lots within it, we have like a turquoise set and we have a black set somewhere oh it's fallen down usually the boys will have the beige my husband would have the black and i would have the blue um but it's just me traveling with the kids this time and because we are sharing one suitcase using these is all the more important so i will put for example i tend to do it two different ways so i'll either put all of the trousers and shorts in one packing cube and all of the tops in another. Or sometimes I do outfits. So I'll do all the beach outfits in one and all of like the evening outfits in another. The pajamas and like the kids boxes and socks in one and separate it like that. Now, while we are sharing a case, it is so important. Otherwise, can you imagine a suitcase full of their clothes, full of my clothes, we just pull one thing out, the whole thing is a mess and mixed up. Whereas if I know I'm picking something for myself, I know to just look for the blue packing cubes or for the boys just look for the beige ones and they're all different shapes and sizes so I tend to know that I've put like beach clothes in this one evening clothes in this one and it just makes finding things and keeping your suitcases tidy throughout your stay so so much easier and there is nothing worse than in an evening than, than when the evening comes and you're you've got like 10 minutes until dinner and you're trying to find things for you your, and your two kids to wear. It is just so stressful. So these make my life so much easier 
and they are all the more important this time with one suitcase. I'll show you how I pack them shortly. Now, two other things I use as well to keep things super organized is one, this little travel pack, which I put the passports, boarding passes, and like any documentation I need, maybe like travel insurance or the hotel booking or something. And I just pop them in here. So I'll put like the passports in, I'll put maybe currency, whatever it is. There's so many useful, helpful pockets. Sometimes I keep the passports in the front for ease. It's got a nice zipped pocket at the back. There are so many compartments and I know if I am looking for anything travel documentation wise, it is in here. I traveled once with the kids and this was when they were much younger, so we had like formula, bottles, dummies, muslins, bibs, nappy, like the lot. And I just like put my passports in. Do you know how long it took me each time we had to get the passports out? And you know, when you go through the airport, you have to get your passports out at least four or five times. Even to buy something in the shop, you've got to get out your boarding pass. Um, it was a nightmare trying to navigate through the big baby bag to find anything. So I had to get one of these and now I know I just pull this out and I'll find what I'm looking for with ease. Um, even now I'm going to take a big backpack on the plane full of the boys entertainment and snacks no doubt and I just want to be able to find things easily. Um, so I got this off of Tame You actually a while ago and it has been a lifesaver. Another thing I tend to use is this little jewelry box and I know that when you throw your jewelry in your suitcase or throw it in your toiletry bag or your makeup bag it either gets tarnished or lost so I find these really useful and I can keep my rings and my necklaces and etc earrings in there another handy one to have okay so i'll just show you the process i usually run through so i either use the landing or the spare room and i will just lay out everything so i've got evening short sleeve tops evening long sleeve tops and then here we've got all of the short sleeve tops that have like patterns on and all of our plain ones because i like to match outfits up as i said so these are all daytime shorts sporty shorts and shorts that could be evening shorts as they have like a matching top and they look cute like little cords. There I've got their towels, their sandals, their sun tops. I've got two pairs of matching swimming shorts there and two pairs of matching swimming shorts there and just a spare pair, pyjamas and we do bring armbands as they're not that confident swimming like in the sea. So what I will do now is I will match evening tops. Where we're going at this time of year can be quite cold so I have got some long sleeve tops. I will also bring some trousers but they're currently being worn or in the wash so I'll have to add those and obviously put a big circle on my list. So I'm going to start matching up some evening tops with some evening shorts and some day tops with some um, day shorts and see how many outfits I can come out with and how many things I'm missing, i.e. some jeans or some cargoes that are either being worn or in the wash. Let's see how far I get. Okay, so we've made some progress. We have one, two. So basically, I think they can wear their shorts, their beach shorts, more than once. In fact, I know they can. Um, but I like to have a different clean top every day. So there's one pair of shorts and two tops. So that'll be two beach day outfits, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 so 12 beach outfits is more than enough i put down five for each boy so i've got two extra and then evening outfits over here i have 10 here and a lot of them have the choice between a short sleeved or a long sleeve top as i said it might be chilly in the evenings or they can pop on a hoodie but i've got 10 here so five for each of the boys now obviously we are there for six six nights i think um so they'll both need one more each but i'm sure they can re-wear one with say a spare t-shirt as I always bring a good five or six spare tops. I've got two spare shorts and then I will add some trousers in after. So they've got more than enough to wear 
in fact probably too much to fit in this case along with my stuff and I might need to strip out a couple of bits but they definitely have plenty here at the moment and then as I said there are some towels their sandals their swimming shorts and pajamas well there's some extra long sleeve tops there too I probably will take some tops out but now I will put them in the packing cube <laughs> Okay, so what I'm hoping is that these packing cubes only take up half of the suitcase so that the other half can be for myself and the, our toiletries and shoes, etc. So this is both boys. In this packing cube here, I have all of their evening short sleeves, long sleeves and shirts. In this packing cube, I have all of their evening shorts. In this packing cube, I have all of their daytime t-shirts as well as the spares. And in this packing cube, we've got all of their daytime shorts and spare shorts. In here we have their swimming shorts and their sun tops. And then I've stolen one of my husband's packing cubes and this has their pajamas in, but I'm also gonna put their pants and some socks in there as well for when they're not wearing sandals. And with a squeeze, we have only used, I'd say, just about half of the suitcase. So that is brilliant. So amazing, that was literally what I was hoping for. All of those packing cubes of everything the boys need to wear have taken up half of the suitcase and that's two of them. So I'm hoping, just logically in my head, I would take up just under half a suitcase and then I've got space for like sandals, towels, toiletries, etc. So I've picked up my turquoise, turquoise or blue, light blue packing cubes and now it's my turn. I really need to talk to myself, have a word with myself we are staying in this beautiful airbnb with a swimming pool we are not this time like our usual resort holidays going out for dinner every evening getting dressed up it's not one of those holidays which is what i'm used to so i'm used to packing tons of like different day outfits different beach outfits and then a beautiful like lovely outfit or dress for the evening it's not that kind of holiday okay I've got an Airbnb, a swimming pool, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, it's a week to recharge, a week to spend with the boys in the pool, hopefully in some sunshine. I do not need seven beautiful evening outfits. I really need to whittle it down because at the moment my pile is far too large. I don't need seven bikinis because it's only going to be me and the boys seeing them. I really need to have a work with myself and calm down my packing this time because as i said we are sharing one suitcase let's go so i've just done a mini little tick off and there's a lot more i need to pack by the looks of it but they're things like toiletries um like lilos and towels and their beach shoes which i am going to do after i pack my stuff so i'm going to hold off on doing the circles for now because i will pack a lot more in a second but i'm going to move on to my pile of clothes now first and then revisit this list okay so to give you a little idea i've got a pile of bikinis here probably way more than seven so i need to whittle that down i've got some day shorts and some day tops i've got some day skirts and day tops and then i've got day trousers and day tops so they'll be my daytime clothes these dresses and cover-ups are for by the pool or the beach these are some evening dresses uh, sorry some day dresses some evening dresses and then like one pair of jeans and a few blouses now i'm going to probably take one or two items out of each pile and then roll up and pack <laughs>
here I have all of my day clothes. In here I've squeezed in all of my evening clothes. And in here are all of my beach cover-ups and bikinis and swimming suits. And as you can see, all we've got is this middle section left. Um, I'm thinking I might do toiletries next and then just lay the towels on top. And God knows where I'm gonna put shoes, maybe like in here. So as I said before, this is like a nice little calm week away with the boys. Kind of like a little retreat, calm, wind down, not too much going out, lots of like cooking lovely, fresh meals inside and just being by the pool and in the sunshine. So I didn't want to overbuy new things for this trip. So I bought the smallest little bag of things and I got them from Home Bargains. And they're just like essential things that I feel like I need to pick up for a holiday. So I'll just show you. But this is like at the most basic level, I have really tried to whistle it down. So I have picked up new toothpaste for both of us because ours are running low anyways. So I picked up the arm and hammer one for myself. And then I just picked up a Colgate one for the kids. I also like new toothbrushes when we go away because I like them to go packaged and then I just kind of get rid of them. I get cheap ones that you can just kind of dispose of. So I picked up the Humble Company plant-based material brushes for me and I'll give one to my husband um, to have at home. And then I picked up a four pack of kids ones and I'll just take two. So we do have sunscreen at home, but I did just pick up these really small SPF roll-ons because I know the boys like to do it themselves and it's handy to have in their little backpack when you're going to the beach or whatever and you don't want to carry a huge one with you that's going to get full of sand anyways. So I picked up this Kids Disappearing coloured roll-on. Maybe it comes out in colour. Um, which will be fun for them to use themselves. And I got them both in Factor 50. I always put Factor 50 on the kids. And then for myself, I'm a Hawaiian tropic girl through and through. I picked up SPF 15. As I said, it's not going to be that hot, but I do like some kind of protection and I love the kind of oil gel vibe on the beach. So I picked up this. I got some cotton pads because we'd run out. And then I picked up this banana shampoo and conditioner bar just because I thought it looked super interesting. I've never had a bar shampoo or conditioner. I mean, it might be a complete um, write-off. <laughs> it might be a load of rubbish. I don't know. But it comes in a bar and apparently it's like a bar of soap. Oh, it smells like banana. It smells like those banana sweets. It says, wet your hair and the shampoo bar to make a foam. Hold the shampoo bar, lather it into your hair from the roots to the tips, and then keep it for the next use. I mean, I'm excited to try it anyways. But I just thought it was really small to take. I always take these hefty big shampoo and conditioners. I might actually give this a go. Like I said, it's not a resort, so if my hair is horrific for the week because of that bar, it doesn't really matter. I'll just put it in a pineapple on top of my head and move on. And then I always like to have some sweets to hand. I know people like sweets on the plane, that's insane, they'll go mad. But sometimes you need a bribe. I don't care what anyone says, sometimes you need a sweet. So I, especially to chew for takeoff and landing, we always have a sweet or to suck. So I got some Maoams to chew. And then the kids really like spearmint polos and they suck those. So I got those for the plane as well. And I also got another pack of each for the suitcase just for in the villa. Now that is everything I picked up. I'm gonna move on to trying to do toiletries, kind of. Can't really do them because we're not leaving for a few days and we'll still need our toiletries. So again, I'll just pack the ones I can and then I'll write a list of the ones that need packing nearer the time. So I will be bringing our little first aid kit that remains in the car. And in this we have all of the tablets we could possibly need. We've got an anti-sickness band for Leo, who sometimes gets motion sickness on long drives. He doesn't actually throw up, but he also often feels quite ill. We've got Max's blue pump, inhaler pump. We've got plasters, Savlon, and anti -back. So everything we need for me and the boys in a first aid kit. So instead of making up a whole new first aid kit, I am just gonna steal the one from the car, make sure it's fully stocked, and bring this with us. Right, so just to gather some of this stuff up, We've got some cotton wool in here. I've got some bamboo cotton buds, some disposable one-use facial sponges for cleansing. The same again, one-use um, face cloths. I've also got to bring a muslin 
my thing to wash my face, um, some hair bands, a new beauty blender, and that is in terms of things I need to help me. <laughs> and then I might just put the face stuff in here as well. I'm going to be taking two cleansers, um, one's oil-based and one's not. Um, I will be taking, I always like to have some micellar water with me because I like to take my mascara off with it first. So we'll take some micellar water in there. It has that really nice, pushy applicator that I like. Um, I'll also be taking my small little brightening toner and some facial SPF in Factor 50 Plus. And then I'll also take my favourite little serum as well and a compact mirror. So that's everything for my face. I am going to be having a week off makeup, so I won't be needing any of that stuff. Okay, we don't quite fit. <laughs> And now in my wash bag, I'm not gonna put all my shampoo, conditioner, and body cream in now because I am still using it, but I've just popped in the sun cream, the toothbrushes, toothpaste, and also that um, hair soap I'm excited to use. And then nearer the time, I'll put the rest of my toiletries in here. So it will just be these two bags that I'm taking. I'm gonna see if they fit now in the suitcase, along with the towels and everything else. <laughs> I'm also just gonna put the Calpo and syringe in here. I tend to get the little tiny sachets from Boots when I get to the airport, but just in case, I'll bring it with me. This is a little Vix for kids. I'm gonna pack the thermometer, an extra syringe, and Max's inhaler pump and spacer. And then I'll have just a little bit of space left for my creams, shampoos, etc. when I pack them. Let's see what we can fit in the case. quite believe that we did it three people on a week's beach holiday everything is in this case as i said i just need to put some conditioner some shampoo actually not shampoo because i packed that bar but i will pack some conditioner because i leave in conditioner in my hair anyway so just some hair products and some creams and we are all in we have so many changes of clothes we've got clothes for the daytime clothes for the evening for all three of us we've got tons of swimwear to choose from i can't believe a three towels like shoes i cannot believe it is all in there and i owe it all to the packing cubes and the lists and the removal and the streamlining we did it oh, i'm so happy so left to do before i go away i would do the little passport wallet with all the documents i need making sure i've got all the key documents i'll add in the bits on my list that i've circled like charger and um, phone like shampoo things that i haven't put in yet and yeah then we're ready to go and in the morning when we're knackered and we've been woken up at like 3 a.m by the alarm clock there will be no stress in this will be in the car the night before oh yeah i've also got to pack my plane bag which i might do as a little youtube short um, and run through what i would pack for me and two young boys who are five and not five who are six and four so keep an eye out for that YouTube short. I will show you what I will pack in my carry-on. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed packing with me today. It was a lot less stressful than I anticipated, just having one suitcase. Um, and I didn't have to sacrifice anything because of the way I pack. So I hope this gives you some inspiration, new ideas, packing tips. And I'll see you all soon. I'm exhausted. Bye.